I didn't think it was real. Like when you see it, because it's the first time I see it. You usually see this on TV, but when I first saw it, I didn't think it was real. It is pretty spectacular. That fast moving wildfire has forced the evacuation of Government Island while heavy smoke stalls traffic right there along I 205. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Kelly Day. Those first calls of the fire on the island came just after 1 o'clock this afternoon, and then less than an hour later, it was upgraded, and the Gresham and the Vancouver Fire Departments were called in to help. Jolie Winaga is live now from Northeast Portland with the very latest. How's it looking now, Joel? Kelly, good evening to you. I just spoke with the Portland Fire Bureau. A bit of good news here tonight. Um, the fire, we are told, is now fully contained. Fire crews are now in what they call the mop-up phase. You may uh, see the air behind me here. Take a look at this. It is now much clearer than before. Earlier, we had those thick black plumes of smoke. Now, we just have some uh, gray haze uh, over the area. Take a look at some video right now. Fire crews had to be brought in by boat to fight this five-acre, three-alarm fire on Government Island. Flames erupted again just after 1 o'clock this afternoon in a large grassy area, and uh, fire crews quickly uh, rang three alarms. The primary concern, of course, the Portland firefighters was to evacuate the few dozen people who were camping on the island. The Multnomah County Sheriff's River Patrol helped with those evacuations. Good news, everyone was safely taken off the island. I didn't think it was real. Like when you see it, because it's the first time I see it, you usually see this on TV, but when I first saw it, I didn't think it was real. Then you go into it and you see all the fire spreading. And they had a boat with, they were trying to throw um, water into it with the hose, but it wouldn't uh, make it. Now, most everyone had a boat on left immediately uh, with, with regards to the air traffic in the area. Again, this is right near I-205 and PDX. It was thought that air traffic into and out of PDX was going to be affected. Uh, but uh, Portland tells COIN 6 News that all flights are on time as of news time here uh, just as we approach 6 o'clock. Back to a live picture. This is the 42nd Avenue boat ramp. It was closed to all boaters and jet skiers this afternoon. And I came here to battle the fire, but again, we are told that uh, the fire is now fully contained. Fire crews are now back up in the mop-up phase. Reporting live here in Northeast Portland, I'm Joel Lewanag at Coin Six News. We'll send it back to you, Kelly. All right, a lot happening, Joel. Thank you. Now.